here is some different antique stuff I have. So I'm going to start off with these little marble thingies. I think these are like a dollar each. Pour them out right here. This is an awesome bag too to hold them in. So I'm just going to use this for now. This is what I came with the came with them when I bought it from the antique store. So I'm just using that miniature lunch bag thingy. I don't know what it is, but that's what I think is best explained as. But yeah, marble for me. Start the light up here. Is this one? Yellowish one. This one. Then I got this one. Looks like Mars. These are old marbles. And this one. Oh, this one. This one's my favorite. Yeah, these are marbles, and these are some really cool ones. And I think that purple one, my favorite one, the purple one. I just like the how it gloss to this. I think it could actually go down a marble track. So I'm opening it. This bag right here. Open this right here. I'm gonna start off with the uh, all right, I'm gonna start off over here. Okay, this is the this, uh, this is a 1894. You can see me. I fix the camera quality a little bit. It's quite doable. Indian head. It's uh, 1926. Thing. Okay. Not much for these. These are really cool coins. And then this one, if you can see this one, it's different packaging. I had to do this packaging. This is a 1910 Liberty head nickel. And the fun fact is that I found this. I was in Tennessee, right outside before we were going to go somewhere. I found this coin. It's a real one. So it's 1910. I'm not exactly sure how much it's worth, but this was a pretty hard case to make. So it doesn't look that, but yeah. But it's, in, it's good and secure in there. It's not coming out, but. So yeah, those are the ones that's in cases. And now here's some other ones. We'll start off with this one. Pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this was the one I found the other day when I was at Home Depot and I got my change back. You see this one's actually some really good this one's a really copper. It's a nineteen fifty six coin. This is the back of it. This is one cent. So I thought that was pretty cool. So let me put this right here. Alright, the second one. I'm just gonna go pick them around only up. This one, this one. I believe in this one. These are all ones. These are 19 Porter Harry ones. They got the same color back. Ones that look the same. So these are only these are still that one and these two same thing, except this one is copper, but it has the same logo on it. All right, now I got these. This one. This is a uh, not sure this is, but it's a one cent. This is a Canadian coin. I like the bird on it, so I think that was pretty cool. I got a good coin collection. No, it's not that big, but you know. I got to collect some stuff. Cool to collect, but anyways. Uh, I got these uh, 1942 coin. This one has a hole in it. Same with this one. This one's, uh, this one's really light. This is 1943, 20 cent times. It's got, I like how they have... 
No one drilled these in them. This is what the government did in these different countries. I'm not sure what this was. This is a Japanese coin, I'm pretty sure. It's got to be, but I like those. I think that's pretty cool. And there you, you can make a necklace without destroying coins. All I gotta do is just put up fruit and you wouldn't damage the coin any. And you could just. And then when you want to take the coins off, you can just undo the necklace. It's cool. So, yeah, that's my coin collection. I'll see what year this is. 1942. I think this is the one I already got. I got two of them. Take a chair. Um, I'm going to pause it real quick. But anyways, I hope you like this video. Um, that's just a little coin collection and the marbles. I can't find the marbles anywhere. I have a local antique store where I get. I found it just recently, and that's where I all those coins had the holes in them in the 1943 steel ones. That's where I all got those at in the Canadian ones. But you know, uh, they probably they might have marbles. They probably just don't didn't look for them or didn't ask where they were. Because it's a huge antique store. It's almost. It's just huge. It's, I mean. From just one half of it's probably over. I'd say. 100 feet long. The whole store is probably 200 feet. Maybe 300 feet long. It's huge. And I mean. It's just a lot of stuff in it. It's packed with cool antique stuff. But. I probably got marbles, I probably just didn't like, but, yeah. But anyways, they got some cool coins in there, too. You just gotta look, and they were all a dollar each. So, anyways, I'm gonna end this video here.